810, it is Friday, July the 18th, and good morning. And uh, I'm very fortunate right now, sitting on the desk right beside me, the Holy Grail. The Grey Cup is here with me. Dave Robinson is here with me from Pure Later, regional sales manager. Dave, thanks for coming in. Good morning, Dave. How are you? Not too bad. Um, nice invitation to get yourself into the studio, my friend. Absolutely. I'll use whatever I can, but this is a good one to bring in, that's for sure. <laughs> Hey, listen, we're going to be uh, hanging out for a little bit over the next half hour. Um, the big thing is going to be tomorrow. Uh, the, uh, it's, it's the whole kind of tackle hunger thing. You guys have done this before. You bet. Regina has really stepped up and supported it before. Uh, we need to do it again tomorrow. Absolutely. Big tackle hunger game at uh, Mosaic Stadium tomorrow, and we're looking for a huge turnout from uh, Ryder fans. Uh, lots of donations for the food bank, and uh, looking forward to a great game as well. So 5 o'clock's kickoff. When can people actually start dumping all the goodies in to the, to the, to the, to the buckets and the barrels? We're going to be set up at Gate A at Mosaic Stadium from 2 o'clock on, and uh, I encourage fans to bring out non-perishable food items, cash donations. Uh, it's going to be very, very visible, easy to see. And uh, pictures with the big shiny thing. Absolutely, pictures with a great cup for all fans that are given donations. See, and, and that's so cool. I mean, you know, it's been a while since, of course, uh, we had an opportunity to have it here. It's way too long. It's been what four months, five months now. Uh, ready, something like that. Yeah. Ready, ready to do it again. Exactly. And of course, we had a little fun with uh, with LG, or uh, one of our assistant program directors, and uh, Corey Colt, uh, both from Winnipeg, and of course, the running gag this morning. Closest the Bomber fans are going to be seeing this baby this year. So yeah, I think Winnipeg are for that a bit too. Uh, oh, oh, there you oh, go. oh! So how do you feel about this year so far? I don't want to comment on that. <laughs> a lot of Winnipeggers are saying it's a long season yet, so we're uh, we're not so, done. So it's going to be what best out of nineteen? Yeah, we'll see best out of twenty nine. Is that uh, something like that? Yeah, and, uh, it's, it's, it's such a party. You guys know. You know, going to also the office oh. there. It's, uh, it's a pretty fun time. I got a quick question here for uh, Paul Michelli, uh, the keeper of the cup from the uh, Canadian Football Hall of Fame. Uh, how often do you travel with with with, with the Grey Cup? Myself, I'm usually out about uh, 10, 12 times a year. Uh, normally, I stay local in Hamilton, but uh, when my other partner can't uh, do the long hauls, then that's uh, me up to bat. Well, the way you go. Now, and I noticed you had the, the whole white gloves and everything, and it's got the metal traveling carrying case, mm -hmm. and this is like you know very. Is there like is there like like a rule book or something that you like? You just do certain things and don't do certain things. Well, it's it's the thing about the Grey Cup is that it's it's the People's Cup. So we like people to get up close and personal, take a good look at it, look at all the names that are on it. So we really, the only rule that we have is we just don't want anybody lifting it. Mm. You know, that's reserved for, for the guys that go up there and uh, play a long season and win that championship game. So that's about the only thing. Let's go out and paint. 